Hello everyone, I'm back with another novel illustration. This time I'm doing a book called Justice Buried by Hilary Thompson. Now, this book was really unique because most dystopian books are just dystopian, but this one is a dystopian mixed with some sci-fi and mixed with some fantasy. So I thought that was really, really cool how this was done. So the story of this novel is the world basically ended in a giant sickness and a large group of people kind of built this underground city and that's where you know they've lived for the past I think 150 200 years or so so the world ended a whole bunch of the population died off from this huge sickness and all these people moved underground and started their own civilization and their own city so they it's, a re it's really cool how this civilization kind of works because they worship the zodiac and the stars and the sky, but they've never actually seen it because they live underground. But they go through horoscopes and treat horoscopes and the zodiac like they're religious books. So as you can see, this character right here, her astrological sign is Aries, so she has the Aries constellation implanted into her skin. That's how hardcore these guys are. So, that is the backdrop of this book. And this girl, her name is Astrea, Astrea? I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, but um, she's actually part of this prophecy. See, the prophecy is there will be a child born on the spring zodiac, or I'm not sorry, the spring equinox, and a child born on the autumn equinox. And when those two children are born in the same year, they are to, they're like betrothed, and they're supposed to lead the civilization into the outside world so that they can, you know, come out from underground. And that signifies the end of the sickness and the start of their new civilization out from underneath the ground. So, I had a hard time connecting with this character in the beginning because she's so angry. Like, she doesn't want to be part of this prophecy. She wants nothing to do with it. She's angry. She's bitter. She hates the guy who was born... Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to mention. I think that she was born on the spring equinox. So she is the child of this prophecy. Anyway, so she hates that she's part of this prophecy. She wants nothing to do with it. She doesn't even really believe in any of the Zodiac or anything like that. She hates the boy who was born on the autumn equinox, who's supposed to be her, you know, betrothed. She just hates everything and she's mad. And I had a hard time connecting to that because I'm not an angry person, so I was kind of put off by it. But I kept reading because I loved the story, I loved where there was going, and I loved the writer's, um, the author's writing style. And I'm really glad that I did because I ended up loving her. Like, this character goes through such amazing character growth throughout this book. It was really cool to see. In the beginning, you know, she's angry, she just wants to run away, she wants to leave, she doesn't want anything to do with this. But as the story goes on, she... I don't want to give too much away, but she comes to accept her fate and she actually gets a lot of responsibility for it. And she's it just it's really cool how her character progressed. So I loved that about this book. And then the character I'm drawing now is his name is Lexin. He is the um child born on the autumn equinox. And he's basically, I loved him, honestly. I loved his character so much. He's a very charismatic, fun, I just, I loved his character so much. And his um, astrological sign, zodiac sign, is Libra. So, of course, as you know, Aries are known for being very strong, will-powered, and huge presence, and that's what Astria is. And Libras are known for keeping the balance and being, you know, the word I'm looking for, the like hard problem solver and the peacekeeper, and that's exactly what he is. So I thought that was really cool that their personalities totally coincided with the astrological signs. <coughs> so like I said, I loved I loved Luxon's character. Um, I don't want to give <laughs> I don't want to give too much away because there is a second love interest in this series, um, and you're actually going to see him next, but. I really prefer Lexin 
over the other male character in this series. I love, I don't know, I just, I fell in love with Lexan's character, and I think he's a new book boyfriend for me, which is a problem because I have like 50 bajillion book boyfriends, but I loved Lexan so much. So, anyway, so this, the book starts off with Astria being angry and not trusting Luxon. She hates him. She hates his guts. Everything he stands for. Um, and she's angry and bitter. And then one day, she meets someone from the outside world. And that's who this character is right here. So she meets him accidentally. And, or I guess I should say he meets her accidentally. But they meet accidentally and they don't really know what to do with each other. Because for one, Astria didn't even know that they people existed in the outside world, you know, everyone thought that the rest of the world died off. And this character, Stian, I think that's his name, Stian, Stian, um, he thought that the underground city where they live in, he thought it was all a myth. So he thought it wasn't real, or if they were real, they were all mole people or something. So they both don't really quite know what to do each with each other, but Astria and Stian kind of make a plan to run away, sort of. They think about it and they consider it. And this is where that character growth comes in because at first Astria is like, oh hell yeah, I wanna leave, I hate this place, let's go. But as things progress, she ha she like forms a sense of duty to her city and to her people because she is, the prophecy says that she will lead them into the outside world and she gets this sense of responsibility and she starts to care for the city and I thought that was really cool how she progressed so much in the course of the book. Um, and I don't want to give too much away because I, I really did love this book and I loved the world building in it and it was very, it was a very enjoyable book. Um, Jeez, I'm running out of time. There's so much, there's so much plot in this story too. I haven't even covered all of it. I just gave you the basics, but it's such a plot rich story and it was just, it was amazing. I loved reading this. I can't wait to read the next one. Um, I loved the horoscopes and the Zodiac part of it because I've always loved stuff like that. I think it's so interesting. So yes, that's about all I have time for. Go pick up this book. It's on Amazon. Go give Hillary Thompson some love. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this novel illustration and I will see you guys next time. Bye!